Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Arithmetic main individual series we have seen. Today we will see discrete series. Do you know the difference between individual, discrete and continuous series? That is very important. Now we will focus today discrete series. First of all you have to remember the formula. What is the formula for discrete series? There are two methods, direct method and shortcut or indirect method. As per the shortcut method, the formula is say along with me x bar is equal to sigma fx by n. x bar means arithmetic mean is equal to sigma fx by n. In the same way for shortcut method x bar is equal to a plus a means assumed mean a plus sigma fd by n fx by n fd by n. Here we are adding just a plus easy to remember. In exam you can follow any method but I would prefer this one easy method. So, you will be saving your time, you can focus the rest of the time on the other problems, ok. So, any method, anyway I am going to show you both the methods, ok. Now, the problem is given here in discrete series, from the following data of the marks obtained by 60 students of a class obtain the average students of a class, up, this is police, full stop, ok, obtain the average marks. Calculate the average marks means arithmetic mean we have to do. The data is given here like this marks and number of students. 20 marks are uh, received by 8 students, 30 marks by 12 students, 40, 20. So, whenever this data that is x you can say, x is given number of students that is frequency number of students and frequency is given means it is discrete series. You have to follow this formula. First let me write the formula uh, x bar is equal to sigma f x by n ok. Now what do we need f into x, f is frequency x will multiply this f x ok. If you want you can draw a table very clearly with the pencil should I later I will show you. Anyway, let me focus on the problem f x by n f into x ok. Uh, 8 to the 16 160, 13 to 12 360, 20 to 40 800, 15 to 10 500. 16 to 6, 600, 7 into 4, 280. So, fx and uh, num what is this n, uh, what do we need fx by n, n means number of students, number of students are this, this is already given 60 students, so this is 60, n is 60. Sigma fx, let us total up 160 plus 360 plus 800 and 500 plus 600 plus 280. It comes to 2700. So, let me check it once again 20 into 8, 160, 30 into 12. 360, 40 into 20, 800, 15 to 10 means 500 only, 500, 16 to 16 to 6, this is 360, and this 17 to 4. 280 ok. So, total is 2460. Everything is clear sigma f x you got it. So, apply it in the formula if you want you can write here sigma f x is equal to 2460 and n is equal to 60 apply it in the formula 2460 by 60 divided by 60, it comes to 41, 
x bar is 41. This is as per the direct method. Hope I am clear. We did not do anything. They are given us x and frequency. We have multiplied fx and formula is fx by n. That is it. fx is you got it 2460. n is here number of number of frequency 60 multiplied 41 you got it. This is as per the direct method. Let us see the indirect method also. As per the indirect method what is the formula? x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d by n. First of all frequency is given d we need to calculate d how do you get d? d means x minus a same like individual series x is this one d x minus a a means assumed mean. Uh, let me assume minimum number so that I get all the positive values a is I am assuming it as 20. Okay? Now, x minus 20, 20 minus 20, 0, 30 minus 20, 10, 40 minus 20, 20, uh, 50 minus 20, 30, 40 and 50. Like D I got it. What do we need? F into D means frequency into deviation. D means deviation. I will write it here. D means deviation. Remember this word. So, frequency into deviation. Frequency is here. Deviation. Uh, 18 to 0 is 0. 12 into 10, 120. 20 into 20, 400. 30 into 10, 300. 14 to 6, 240 and 15 to 4, 200. What do we need? This total, right? So, 120 plus, uh, this is 700, 700, 820, 820 plus this is 440, comes to 1260. Now, apply it in the formula. Uh, x bar is equal to a, a is how much we have taken? 20, you can take any number, does not matter, okay? 20 plus sigma fd, fd is total 1260, 1260 by n, n means number of observations, 20, number of uh, total of frequency. So, if you work out like this 20 plus 126 divided by 6, it comes to 21 it means 41, 41 same answer you got it now that is it this is discrete series. So, we can show everything in a table also take a generally you better to take pencil and also scale you can show everything in a table like this. So, it looks neat. Am I clear discrete series? Nothing to worry, only the formulas you have to remember. What are the formulas? First one as per the first method sigma fx by n. Second method is a plus sigma fd by n, that is it. It is clear? Want to take a screenshot? By the way, uh, here is a homework problem for you. Problem is given to you, value means that is x is given to you and frequency. Okay, if you total up, you will get num n. n is total of the frequency and apply the same way formula, work out direct method and shortcut method and the answer should be 4.59, clear? Ba and uh, work out and let me know your answer in the comment box. I am waiting for your answer. If you practice it, then only you will have that confidence, right? Want to take a screenshot? Yes. Though I have prepared this statistics once again, I am recording because of the audio and video quality, especially for you all. Do share this videos with everyone and uh, mathematics or statistics, these are all problematic subjects, but not at all a problem if you understand it. 
check out the playlist also study well don't forget to share this videos good luck